my name is dr rubab and today we are going to do cardio pulmonary resuscitation which is also known as cpr so today's learning objectives are indications of cpr and how to perform cpr so first we will know what is cpr it consists of mouth to mouth respiration and chest compressions it allows oxygenated blood to circulate to vital organs brain and heart what is resuscitation resuscitation means to revive or to bring back to life its indications are when the patient is unconscious there is no breathing or irregular breathing drug overdose drowning poisoning non fatal arrhythmia shocks and seizures now we are going to do the cpr method which is the manual method the one going to do the cpr is the rescuer he is going to follow three steps c a b c to do chest compressions a check airway b rescue breathing now we are going to check the patient if he is unconscious by tapping his shoulders and asking his name and if he is all right and if he doesn't respond look for the rotates if not palpable then look for the chest movements are they present or not ask for help around you to call 1122 and cardiac defibrillator position the patient supine and yourself above place the palm of one hand on the lower half of sternum and other hand on the top of the first fingers interlaced extend the elbows and lean directly over the person press down compressing chest at least up to 2 inches release the chest and allow it to recoil completely compressions about 30 are given 100 per minute should be hard and fast perform head tilt chin lift maneuver to open the airway and determine if person is breathing before beginning ventilation look in person's mouth for foreign body secretion blocking the airway If person is not breathing, two rescue breaths are given mouth to mouth by pinching the person's nostrils close. Put the mouth over the person's mouth. Give each breath for approximately one second with enough force to make person's chest rise. After giving two breaths, resume the CPR cycle again. complications of cpr number 1 fracture of ribs or sternum due to the hard and fast chest compressions second gastric insufflation from artificial respiration which is given mouth to mouth can lead to vomiting and aspiration